I challenge you to walk through that gate and not put a smile on your face. This is Wausau's happy place. It's a place where you're going to find beauty, you're going to find serenity. You might want to meditate or you want to walk the trails or maybe you want to come and learn about how to garden. It really is a happy place. You'll see people that are coming for their lunch break and then you'll watch them leave and they'll be a little bit of a different kick in their step. I think nature is such an important part of our lives. There isn't anyone who can't enjoy the gardens. I believe that we have a lot more in common with plants than people are aware of. It's a wonderful place to come and be happy, to sit and have your lunch, read a book, meet with friends. It's peaceful, it's beautiful, there's new things happening all the time. You're away from the hustle and bustle, you're just outside of the city, and I found this position, and it is a dream. I get to help develop these gardens, and I get to dream up all of these different designs and really see what gems Mr. Monk has here. A botanical garden is a place that is designed to create serenity, to create beauty. And while all of that is happening, as you're walking through these designed gardens, you also are learning. All major cities have a botanical garden. And, and people from all over the country, and frankly, all over the world, love to visit botanical gardens. So it means we are, we are a destination. We are the only botanical garden in the northern half of the state. Monk Gardens is, I think, just a wonderful space for families, individuals to come and walk and relax and enjoy nature or learn something if they come to an event or a program here. It's unlike any other place in Wausau, for sure. It's an opportunity of a nice place to come, and it's grassroots. It was developed by the people. The land was donated in 2003, and if it wasn't for the volunteers then that said, yes, this is what we want to do, I certainly wouldn't be standing here. And so from 2003 until 2017, they are the ones that did the hard work. This garden would not look the way it does, it would not operate the way it does without our volunteers. Volunteers are important in a couple different ways. One, as a volunteer, you learn so much. The other thing that's neat is you get to be part of the events. You meet new people, you meet enthusiastic people who enjoy being outdoors, and so there's good conversation while you're getting a lot of good work done. I don't know how many volunteers we have, but it, every time I'm out here, I meet someone new. Wausau in general and the surrounding areas do not have any organizations that are providing environmental education. Part of that is to get kids connected to plants, to get them excited about being outside. So, Sprouts Gardens Preschool has been established. It's the first outdoor garden based preschool in the area. It's just going to be a wonderful option for families who have kiddos that might not be ready to sit in a traditional classroom that need a little bit more space, that need to be able to play to learn. The yurt is the future home of our Sprouts Nature Preschool. The nature Preschool is where kids are outside all day, but they need a home base. If we're going to continue to be able to have places like the garden, we need the next generation to appreciate what we are doing here and conserve it. Adding that education focus to a beautiful, beautifully landscaped facility and grounds, I think is just an incredible asset to the community. This is a garden for all. And that means we want every single person in Wausau to come and visit the garden. The IDEA committee, IDEA stands for Inclusion, Diversity, Equity, Accessibility. So primary goal is to create a safe space for people of all different identities, backgrounds, and just really respecting the values and beliefs of all people in the community and region. We're connecting with a variety of nonprofits 
to bring um, a variety and diverse group of, of children and adults to the gardens. We try to have kids get their hands in the dirt as much as they can. So uh, some groups come back repeatedly, like Boys and Girls Club will have a repeat field trip. Probably one of my favorite parts of working with the, the groups and doing education out here is just like the renewed sense of wonder, seeing someone else see it for the first time and being able to give them the information so that they love it. And we just want to make sure that everyone is aware that not only do the gardens exist, but we also are a safe environment for anyone to join. Doesn't matter your skill set on knowledge of plants it, or what your interests are, just to embrace and enjoy the beautiful landscapes that are offered here at the gardens. Some of our events are uh, a little less plant focused, but get people out here to the gardens, which is what we want. Lots of people don't even know the gardens are here till they come to an event or an education program. We've got theater events. We do some cooking programs. We've got luminary walks. Every part of the garden is available for an event. If you want to rent the gardens for anything, we've had weddings in the treehouse. We've had weddings in the event lawn, weddings in the kitchen garden where they used the trails as their aisle. And it was really, it was really pretty. The plans for the future are just endless. There are um, many areas waiting to be developed. There's going to be a capital campaign in the near future to get our first building in here. The Visitor Center will be uh, a year-round facility for us with classrooms and laboratories and rentable space for events and meetings and you know wedding receptions and that kind of thing. If you haven't been out here yet, come out and walk around. We'd love to have you learn more about the gardens.